This is Rito here. We're at the top of our castle, getting ready to start another Calamity Revengeance mode Let's Play with Anna the Archer. We are doing bow only and having a great time. Last episode, we defeated the Brimstone Elemental, Skeletron Prime, and the Destroyer. Today, we can now go into the jungle and start mining Chlorophyte, as well as fight the Aquatic Scourge. So. The first thing I wanted to do though, before we do anything else, is I farmed a pirate map from the ocean biome, and I wanted to go ahead and summon the pirate invasion. And here we go, the pirates have arrived. We had a goblin invasion almost immediately, but not the pirates. In a lot of my playthroughs, I have bad luck, and the pirates come right at the beginning, right when I enter hard mode, and it's just a painful experience. But right now, we're very powerful, so we should be able to destroy these pirates no problem. Whoa, we got a lucky coin. That's pretty awesome. Here we go, we got the Flying Dutchman. Let's take this guy out. And we almost got him. Sweet, Flying Dutchman destroyed. I also remember early hard mode having one of these spawn and having to build a little cave and then have one block where you can get your yo-yo out and you just sit underground and <laughs> repeatedly hit these enemies with yo-yos until you defeat them. The ultimate cheese method. But I had to do it a few times. Luckily, we are so overpowered for this now that this is no problem. Even the captains die quickly. And we defeated the pirate invasion. Feels good. Let's head back to base and put away our lucky coin, which we got like less than 10 mobs into that. We got a lucky coin. Still can't believe that we got that. Now it's time to head to the jungle. I started running to the jungle and we've got a potion that'll take us right there. That's much better. Throw a spelunker on. And before I forget, we need to set our spawn. Here we go. Set our spawn right there. Grab all that chlorophyte. It's got plenty of chlorophyte around it. <laughs> this is so much damage. Oh, I love it. What we also need to do is get these heart statues. Ooh, and a plantera. I don't think we're ready for plantera just yet. We did get a heart. That will be very helpful. Well, we've got plenty of chlorophyte now. We haven't been finding many of the hearts. Life fruits. Seems like our Seems like our jungle is actually pretty small. We have a lot of marble. Ooh, another mimic. Yes, we got a new hook. 
I love the dual hook. Let's switch that over from the diamond hook. It's a great improvement. I don't even know where this queen bee came from. Oh, I guess there's a beehive right above us. Sweet. There we go. Well, we mined a ton of chlorophyte, so let's craft as much as we can. 99 bars. Perfect. So the only things we really need, we could do chlorophyte armor, which might be a good improvement. But I kind of like this set and the combination with the wings and everything. So I'm going to leave those be for now unless we need to upgrade to chlorophyte. But what I do want to get is a chlorophyte shot bow, which would be a nice addition to our bows up here. I think we might switch it out for our flare wing bow, since I think we've outgrown it. We just got Unreal for our chlorophyte shot bow. So if we look at our boss checklist, the next one is the aquatic scourge, and that actually drops a really good bow. So I want to make sure we defeat the aquatic scourge before we try to take on Plantera or Calamitous. We also have a Solar Eclipse and Ogre event that we can do. The Ogre is the event from Dungeon Defenders, which we may delay for a little bit, although we can get a new bow at some point. I think the Ogre may actually drop a bow that I don't know how good it is, but it may be worth farming that event a little bit and getting it. To get to the Abyss, we use this potion and it said the side depends on the used mouse button so perfect it sent us right over to where we wanted this crossbow actually looks pretty sweet it shoots two or three arrows i'm going to set our spawn point right here and get an arena set up for the boss and then we'll take on the aquatic scourge Ooh, another pirate map. And I got a turtle shell from one of these mobs here. That might actually be the easiest way to farm turtle shells. Well, the boss is not spawning. So let me put down a water candle. And hopefully that will help the spawn rate. It certainly has increased the sp Oh, I got another turtle shell. Yeah, this is a really great place to farm turtle shells. So I was having trouble getting the Aquatic Scourge to spawn. So what I did instead was I looked up how to summon it. And all you need to do is combine Sulfurous Sand, Starfish, and Shark Fins in order to create the summon. So it's a pretty easy recipe. So now that we got the spawn, we'll head right over to the Sulfurous Sea. I used the wrong potion. That potion sends me to the bottom of the ocean. Whoa, I think it just spawned. Yeah. Although it looks slightly glitched. Let's see. What is this? A trash can? So I got the trash can that summons a pet, I guess. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Danny DeVito pet. I'll get rid of him. So now that we got our spawn set and we got Danny DeVito gone, it is time to summon this boss. And I think let's start with trying the Unreal Chlorophyte bow. I think we are good to go. Where is this boss? The Aquatic Scourge has awoken. Where are you? Uh oh. I think I got the wrong enemy mad at me. <laughs> yeah, I have the Mauler mad at me. 
That's not good. Okay, here we go. We got the Aquatic Scourge. This is such a fun boss fight as well. Where are you, guy? I like boss fights where you get to evade lots of moving particles. I mean, it's very calamity to have lots of lots of things to dodge and if you don't dodge them you die really quickly but if you do dodge them you do well I'm not currently doing that well to be honest get up in the air we've got 23 seconds we probably won't be able to defeat him but if we can get this heal we should be fine Three seconds for the heal. Okay, we got the heal on. Let's get out of the water. Oh no, <laughs> that's not where we want to be. And we got him! Sweet. Oh no, I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, there's too many things hitting me. Okay, so under me, we've got the boss treasure chest. Grab that. Make sure we don't miss anything. Oh, a treasure map too. Okay. So let's see what we got. And we got the Barnautical first try. Oh, that's so nice. We got an arrow stone. We have place in your inventory to gain immunity to the sulfurous waters and increase the stat gains from well-fed buff. That's really good. For sure, I need to keep that in my safe. So whenever we go into the sulfurous sea, we can get immunity to the sulfurous water. What else did we get? We got some that guy we got the aquatic emblem also also a pretty cool thing it slowly increases your attributes and helps you in the abyss so that's another abyss item that I'll put in the safe and the arrow stone I think we already got one of those we got some souls of sight awesome it's time to give this Baronautical a try, see how it performs. Whoa. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I've heard that this is the best bow for this part of the game, so I'm quite excited to try it out. So let's head back to base and let's reforge this weapon. Before we end the episode today, I wanted to just go ahead and test it on a dummy and see which bow is going to be our best bow. So this is doing 2,000 damage per second, the Baronautical. And let's see how much damage we can do with our Chlorophyte bow. We're hitting about 16, 1700, 2000. Okay, so pretty similar when using Unholy Arrows. Whoa, jumping slime. And let's see what our Dark Echo Great Bow does. Our Dark Echo Great Bow can do about 1300. Well, that's a good test. So these two bows are pretty similar, but only if the Chlorophyte Shot Bow is using Holy Arrows. And even, it seems like the Chlorophyte Bow might actually be slightly better, especially if it can hit multiple targets. But this 
burn article is pretty dang good as well. So we've got some pretty good items. Next episode, we're going to be taking on Plantera and maybe even Calamitous. I'm really excited for that. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe so you can catch the next episode, and I'll see you next time.